and send out for showbiz becky is here hello Hi, becky thank god it's friday yeah it's a beautiful friday yeah. you know yesterday when we were here uh, the people of Tamale, they mm -hmm. were celebrating the fire festival. Oh. It's called the Bungum Festival. Let me tell you a bit about it. So the Bungum Festival, which is also known as the fire festival, is a cultural religious festivity which marks the beginning of the Dagbon year. The fire festival, which is also known as Buyum Chuyu, uh, began in Mali Dagbon when the, a king's son went mm. wandering and got lost in the wild. And then the entire community went in search of him using grass torches called the Buyum Mukola in Dagbani to light their way. They finally found his remains under a tree, suspecting he had been devoured by a wild animal. Oh. They threw the torches away and went home to mourn. It is in this light that the Dagumbas, the Nanumbas, and Mamfusi celebrate the fire festival mm. every year to remember the tragic incident and honor the I prince. See. Oh, so this is actually the story behind it. Yeah. Really, really nice. <laughs> So those were some yeah. of the highlights we should from be there next the year, festival. Isn't it? But let's also congratulate. <laughs> yeah, you should. We should. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's congratulate Samini and Kokoveli. They uh, okay. have finally graduated from Gimpa. We had a conversation with them. It feels great to be able to achieve this milestone because it's something that's always been on my mind, something that's always been uh, like, a, like a dream for me. So uh, at, at some point I realized that it was becoming more like just a dream unless I put uh, some work towards it. So I took a break off music, quote unquote break, and then three and a half years down the lane, here I am feeling proud and well achieved. Yeah, so I'm proud of myself. How do you manage to balance work, family, music, education, and then what should your music fans expect from today? Well, um, for a multi-talented person and uh, uh, you know someone that can multitask, I believe that you have to be able to uh, prioritize stuff while you you you, you know you, you plan. So it wasn't that difficult. It was more of me deciding that this is the time to do this and then making time and making provisions for what I wanted to do. So far, it's been, it's been a wonderful journey. It's been, I mean, I will do this over and over again. And I, I encourage everybody that always want to do this to just go for it now. It's all great, you know, it's something that I really decided to do. It wasn't easy though, but I mean, I feel when you set your mind on something, you need to get it done. So I feel so great that at my age, being able to sit down and learn and even go with a second class upper, that's good. Awesome. And so, I mean, now you are moving into the corporate world. Is it, uh, is it I mean, a final goodbye to music or should we expect a surprise from you? Well, um, I study project management and it goes so high. It, it, it goes everywhere. So with music, you know, there's a lot of project in music. So maybe I might lay low, get some people done and then um, take care of the project. And I like how both of you were mentioned after the other. How has it been sharing the same class with Samini? Yeah, it was, it was, well, I started first. He made it all happen. I yeah. mean, he, he made it happen. He remembered that we already said it, that we were going to go back to school. So when he started, he just reminded me, picked the form and forced me yes. to go to school. And here we are today as graduates. Zaza! Who gaga? Who gaga? Who gaga? Samini and Coco Veli right there. But Samini's, Samini's family, uh, they were all there to support. Here's Samini's kids and their dad. It's really inspiring and it's so great to see. You know, me starting my second year in uni now, it just lets me know that as long as you stay focused and you know how to prioritize time management, all of that, you'll be able to finish and be successful in the end. So it's really inspiring and great to see. Um, I'm really proud of him, like seeing how far he's come and how much work he's put in. I'm very proud. Um, I can say that I'm really proud of him and I really enjoyed watching him on the TV and it's really emotional for me. My, my congratulations to him for having made it this far. Because well, it's not easy. I was wondering how he could combine his uh, normal musical rounds with studies in a higher institution. 
that he has made it. So I'm very, very glad.